guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is sponsored by the lovely Skillshare, which we are going to be talking about later on in the video. Now today we are doing slightly, a little bit different today. We are going to be showing you my morning workout routine, which is going to be a hip workout from my Pink Dragon program. If you guys wanted to check it out, make sure to check out the quiz in the description box below. Then I'm going to be showing you something that I have for breakfast straight up to the workout. So make sure you guys are ready. Make sure you bring it your all during this workout and then I'll show you my breakfast. Okay guys, let's get ready for this next cardio workout 30 seconds back to back so first one is over the log so jump when I say jump 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 that's it guys keep going jump 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 that's it jump Jump, 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 that's it. Next move is kick back. So I want you to step back on one leg, touch the floor and come forward and kick. Step back, kick, step back, kick. Great work. Run guys, into a plank and hold. That's it, back up and run. Quick, and plank. Back up guys, run. Floor and plank. That's it, back up and run. Excellent, now I want you to jump and move your hand up and down. So you want to punch up, down. Come on, really punch with some force here and I want you to really make sure you're jumping off of the floor. Other side. Excellent, take a breather here, 30 seconds before we repeat that again. Okay guys, let's go over the log, run and jump. That's it guys, jump, 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 that's it, come on, jump higher and jump, 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 that's it. That's it. Now, kick, step, back. Kick, step, back. Other side, guys. That's it, kick forward, step back. Come on, pick up the pace. Let's get ready for those runs and run. Plank, hold it there guys, keep that core engaged. Jump back up and run. Come on, move those feet quicker. Down into a plank. Back up and run. Down. Back up and run. Plank. That's it guys, back up and punch up and down. Make sure you're lifting your body up and you are having a bend in your knee there, come on. Faster, other side. X, 
excellent 30 second breather here make sure to grab some water hydrate just take a sip Guys, let's get into position and run. Jump. Jump. Come on, this is the last time you are doing this. Jump. Jump. Come on, I know you can get higher than that. Jump. That's it. Jump. Jump. That's it. Quicker feet. Come on. Jump. Jump. Excellent. Let's do those kicks. Step back. Kick. Step back. Kick. Come on. Get that leg high. Do some force. Come on. It's the last time you were doing this. Switch sides. Kick and back. Kick and back. Run, guys. That's it. Move those feet and down. Plank. Hold. Come back up and run. Down. Plank. That's it. Back up. Run, guys. Down. Back up, guys. Run. Plank. Back up, let's do those punches. Up, down, up, down. You better keep jumping, come on. This is the last round. Other side, guys. Up, down, up, down. Excellent, 30 second break and trust me, we are not done. I know I said three rounds of this, but we got a blaster to finish it off. So take that 30 second rest before we go into the next move. So the first move that you guys are going into is switch kicks. Let's go guys, I want you to move those arms, move those legs, keep the feet flat on the floor and move those arms. Go as quickly as you can, keep the navel sucked in. That's it. You've got this, come on, we're only doing one round of this. So guys, work up that sweat, come on. Excellent. Now let's do some punches to the side. I want you to go as quick as you can. Let's really get those arms engaged. Excellent. Punch, punch. Come on, guys. You should be sweating. Let's go. Let's finish off with some star jumps. Go as quick as you can. I need those arms above the head and I want those feet working as quickly as possible. This is your final, final exercise. That's it, keep going. Yes, that's it guys, let's breathe in, stretch to the side and the other side, come down into a flat back, excellent work, well done. Okay guys, for the first move you're going to be on your knees facing me and we're going to start with arm circles.
So you just want your arms out straight, fingers nice and pointed, and just move your arms in a circular motion forward. Keep that navel sucked into your spine, and now reverse the circles. For the next move, keep your arms out and you're just going to pull one side in towards your waist and back up. going to go down into a plank push up so if you want to come onto your knees like I'm doing for the modified version you can if not you can go into a full plank into a push up keep that back nice and straight navel sucked into the spine Next move, tricep dips. So come round facing the front, plop yourself up and then down and up. You want that bum just to slightly touch the floor and come back up again. Work back to the beginning, guys. Arm circles facing me, navel sucked in. Reverse that circle. Keep those arms out straight, do not drop them. to bring one arm in towards your waist and back out again. Pull it in, out. Great work, let's go into those push-ups on the knees and push up and down. Remember to exhale every time you come up, inhale as you go down. job now guys into those tricep dips down and up make sure you're not completely sitting on the floor you want your bum to just slightly touch and keep going So now we're going to go into wood choppers. So all I want you to do is bring your arms up to your head and bring them down to one side. This is going to help target the abs and the obliques. Make sure you're leaning back to really engage your core. Switch sides. Make sure to breathe, exhale as the arms come down to the floor, inhale as they go up. Now we're going to come 
down into the floor, we're gonna come up into a sit up, and then we're gonna hold a boat pose. Then back down to the floor, up, legs up, and back down. This is gonna to help to engage the entire core muscles, and it's gonna also help to challenge your core stability. So roll up, hold, back, down. Roll up, hold, back, Make sure to breathe and hold this pose now. I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. Keep those toes nice and pointed. Hands out. Excellent job. Next is just some simple crunches with your feet on the floor, knees up. So make sure as you're coming into the crunch, you want to lift your chin up, shoulder blades to come slightly off the floor, and make sure that you really are breathing on each movement. So exhale on the crunch, inhale as you go down. Legs out and we're just going to be crunching and we're going to lift our legs up on each alternating crunch. Keep those toes nice and pointed. Keep going, keep contracting, breathe. And now back to those wood choppers to come up, feet on the floor, lift that arm above the head and chop down. You really wanna use some force with your arms here. Other side, so lift those arms up, bring them down. Next move into those sit-ups, boat pose. Down, roll up, hold, back down. That's it guys, really roll yourself up and engage those upper abs and the lower abs. Keep those toes pointed, arms out in front of you. Squeeze your core. It's gonna to help to challenge your stability, build up strength in the foundation. Keep breathing in and out. Calm down into those crunches. Feet firmly on the floor. Crunch up and down. Keep going. Think about those beautiful abs that are going to be coming your way. Squeeze up and down. Straight leg crunches, so bring that leg up and down, alternate between each leg. Keep those toes pointed, contract the core, breathe. And now get ready to go onto the legs and bum sequence. 
come up into all fours. Your first move is going to be a lunge into a side kick. So bring your leg to the side, kick it out. Lunge, kick out. Make sure to keep that toe pointed on the kick to the side. This is gonna to help to really engage your legs and the side of your bum. Great work, lunge and kick. Keep that navel sucked into the spine, don't let it hang. Now we're just gonna go into some simple leg raises. Keep that leg nice and straight, toes pointed. Squeeze your glute muscle. Keep going. Now we're going to go into cross kick. So all I want you to do is keep that leg nice and bent in 90 degree. Cross it to the other leg and then bring it up into a donkey kick. So cross, kick up, cross, kick up. This is going to help to engage the side of the glutes as well as the top. Up, down. Keep that core sucked in, squeeze the bump, kick it as high as you can. Now we're just going to do a leg swing. So it's like a rainbow, so you want to kick it round to the side, swing it back behind you. So round to the side, swipe behind. Round to the side, swipe behind. This is going to help to burn that butt muscle. So keep going. Lift it as high as you can and swing it back. Now let's take it to the other side. So you want to do lunge forward, kick out to the side with a straight leg. So lunge, kick out. Lunge, kick out. That's it, you've got it. Let's go into those straight leg kicks. So bring it up, down, up, down. Keep that leg nice and straight, toes pointed. That's it, keep going. Beautiful work. Now cross the knee, bring it into a donkey kick. So make sure to keep that leg bent, cross it over and bring it back up. Keep the foot flexed, squeeze it as you come up into a donkey kick and down. So keep going. Now back into the swing and swipe. So swing it to the side, swipe it back. Swing and swipe, perfect. Keep going, lift that leg as high as you can on the swing and swing it back. For your final move, you're going into bridges. So come down, lay on your back and squeeze your glute muscles up as high as you can and down. Keep that navel sucked in, squeeze the bum and drive up. Lift as high as you can, come on. This is your last move. You want a nice bum, so squeeze up and down. Now just open the legs back and forth, stay in that bridge position, open, close, open, close.
I'm down to the floor. So that was the end of the workout. I hope you guys really did enjoy that with me. I love doing my pin and dragon workouts because they're short, they're effective to get the heart rate up. And I always feel so good after I've done them. So I hope you all enjoyed doing it with me. Let me know in the comments below if you did. So as you can see, I look a bit more refreshed. I look a bit more like myself. Um, Eva's still asleep, which is good. So I have had a shower, done my makeup, and I'm now going to have my breakfast. It is, just check the time. It's 10 o'clock now. Um, I normally have running around this up to the morning, so I always eat around this time. So today I'm going to make you one of my smoothies that I absolutely love. If I still feel hungry afterwards, I will have some rice crackers. Um, it just depends on the mood and how hungry I am. So let's get going with my delicious smoothie. Okay, so I'm still sort of like semi moving into this place. I've got lots of bombs gone off. That's why. So for the smoothie, you need a few simple ingredients. You don't need to do exactly what I'm doing, but if you do want to follow along, well, let's get into it. So I put some ice to make it all smoothie like. Chocolate protein, obviously, I'm using my own protein for this one. Chocolate, obviously. Um, almond milk, non sweetened, peanut butter, half a banana, and then I'm actually going to do a decaf espresso shot with it as well, um, just because I feel like doing it today. Normally I don't do that and I have it on the side as an Americano, but I feel like putting it in today. So let's get going, let's get cracking, and then we can enjoy our breakfast, guys. So good. Adding that bit of coffee. So that's my breakfast, guys. So I'm gonna enjoy this. If I get hungry, which I'm not gonna lie, I probably will. I literally have two rice crackers with some peanut butter on, and that will be me done for breakfast. Quick, it's easy, especially when you have a baby, you don't have time. So this is great. It's delicious, it's got everything I need in it, especially for after my workout. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my breakfast. And before this video ends, I'm going to talk about a lovely Skillshare, so make sure you stay to check it out. So guys, it's a little on later in the day now, it's around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If you want me to shoot a video like what I eat in a day, let me know in the comments section below and I'd be more than happy to film that for you. But one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today was Skillshare because we're doing one of their courses during the daytime as and when Eva's down for naps and in between my work sessions. So one of the courses that I've been doing is called Portrait Photography, which is being able to shoot and edit for Instagram, which has been super useful for me, especially because I'm trying to get my Instagram profile a little bit better with my images because before they kind of did suck. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, you guys can check it out here, but I just upload like lifestyle shoots and stuff. But it's been really helpful to do this course because it's enabled me to see, you know, ways in which I should do my lighting, background things, um, especially what I should wear. All of those factors make such a huge difference when you're doing a photo and this course has been a lifesaver. So guys, I highly recommend checking out Skillshare and also checking out this course if you really want to get your creative skills up, especially for Instagram. Skillshare is an online learning platform and they're offering the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership and after that, it's only around $10 a month. So be sure to check it out, which is at the top of my description box just below this video. But that's it guys, I hope you all really did enjoy showing you my morning workout routine, joining me for the journey and also seeing what I have for breakfast. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big like and a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I will see you guys all next week, have a great week and I'll speak to you all soon.